Muslim sources tell us that Muhammad said to learn the Quran from some of the companions. Abdullah bin Masud is one of them. But of course, his reading is not used today. And when we look at what Muslim sources say about the specifics of his codex, we do notice some differences with the standardized Quran. For example, his codex was missing surahs 1, 113, and 114. He also used a different order for the surahs. Regarding these chapters of the Quran, which Abdul ibn Masud excluded, for him, he was very clear. They simply did not belong. This translation comes from the Islam Issue blog produced by Blackjack, who frequents the comments section on this channel. Narrated Zur ibn Hubash, I met Ubay bin Qab and said to him, Ibn Masud used to remove the verses of refuge, Surahs 113 and 114, from the Quranic codices, saying both of them are not part of the Quran and do not include in it what is not part of it. Additionally, the variants in Ibn Masud's codex have been thoroughly documented by many scholars over the centuries. We've talked about some of them on this channel, but Ibn Masud is a specific example of a larger, unexpected phenomenon. We have readings going back to Muhammad and the companions that were later abrogated, but this is counterintuitive. In the modern period, one would expect that the earliest readings going back to Muhammad and the companions would be the ones selected for canonization. So why weren't they? According to Al-Tabari, regardless of how many sound and well-circulated accounts exist documenting a certain reading that does not agree with the current Razum of the Mus'haf, such accounts will never establish that reading as valid and acceptable. Unlike later scholars who relentlessly tried to interpret, reinterpret, and re-evaluate these accounts, especially the ones about Ibn Masud, Al-Tabari openly acknowledges the validity of these accounts and offers the following reconciliation. The anomalous readings attributed to the companions are not acceptable to us anymore, simply because our Masaif are different from their Masaif. The companions' readings might have been acceptable during their time because they might have had different codices from the ones we have now. Therefore, our Musaif cannot accommodate their anomalous readings. Consequently, we are forced to reject the readings which disagree with the Razum of our current codices, even if the sound historical accounts unequivocally establish that the companions used to read them differently. Once again, from the modern perspective, this is counterintuitive. The most striking feature of the non-canonical readings is that Muslims are prohibited to use them in prayers. These readings do not hold a Quranic status anymore, even though they used to be recited liturgically during the time of the Prophet and before Uthman's codification of the Quran. Around the 10th century, we have reports that these now non-standard readings were excluded with the use of force. It is in this period that, in liturgical use, readings based on the Uthmanic Razum finally eclipsed those presupposing another Razum, notably that of Ibn Masud. This was largely due to the activities of Ibn Mujahid, whose view on the admissibility of variant readings was enforced by the vizier Ibn Mukla in 935. Ibn Shanabuth, who had in public worship confidently recited readings of Ibn Masud and other older readings which were not in accordance with the Uthmanic Codex, was brought to trial and flogged, whereupon he recanted his defense of the non-Uthmanic readings. Thus, these older readings, reportedly going back to Muhammad and the Companions, were not canonized. They couldn't be because they were not supported by the Razum extant in Ibn Mujahid's time. From the modern perspective, we would wonder why Ibn Mujahid wasn't willing or able to construct criteria that would allow these older readings to be selected. But Ibn Mujahid had his own standards that he applied to the available readings at the time to make his selections. And with his canonization, the non-standard readings of the companions became obsolete. Thanks for watching.